Good morning everyone. Welcome to my class of economics. I'm Akanksha and I'm here to teach you economics chapter Indian economy in the global context of class 10th. So children you have noticed that India has economic relationship with other countries isn't it? It may be in the form of jobs, it may be in the form of import, export. How, what do you mean by these economic relationship? What is the meaning? How can you define it? This all uh, we are going to study in this chapter, Indian economy in the global context. So to start with, let us start with some examples. Can you tell me where do you find economic relationship? around the world. India's economic relationship means what? It may be in the form of import, isn't it? Wherever there is a dealing with cash or there, there is a dealing with finance, okay, financial dealings. So it is in the form of import, then export. What else you can think of? Sending gifts. When you send gift, that is also economic relationship. Sending gifts to and from foreign countries. Foreign countries. Then what else? Sending money. Isn't it? When you send money, when people are working outside, they send money. To and from foreign countries. That is also economic relationship. Then one more thing. Tourism. You go, you go to other countries for tourism and you visit many people come to India to see Taj Mahal, isn't it? And government delegations, all these are economic relationship, tourism, then you can say embassies are there, this is also an economic relationship, isn't it? Tourism, business, etc. you can write down. Okay, so these are basically economic relationship of a country with other countries for all these purposes. Clear? And what is the importance of this? Why? What is the importance of these uh, trade and doing this through trade? Uh, what is the importance? So you can say importance also we can list many importance of economic relationship or importance of trade also you can see. What happens when you import goods, when you purchase some imported goods, don't you think you feel very proud in showing your friends, isn't it? So you get a lot of variety, lot of variety of goods and goods, okay? When you uh, import uh, these things, you get a, uh, new varieties, mostly of phones, laptops, all these are imported things, isn't it? Um, because uh, we import from foreign countries and they sell in the Indian market and we get the things. Secondly, trade encourages production of new goods and services. When uh, trade is there, new goods come into market. New goods production is there. What else? When we do tourism, people meet each other through tourism, isn't it? Through business. So this is also important for trade. And last but not the least, because of international trade, it is possible to produce 
the goods more efficiently. You might have noticed India exports the best quality of mango, isn't it, to foreign countries. The best hota hai, that is exported. So, uh, you can say to, it is possible to produce more efficiently. Production becomes more efficient. Production becomes more efficient. Okay, so the, these are all the importance of trade. Now the question is what are the items that India exports and what are the items that India imports? This is a question that is often asked, list few items that of export by Indians and, and what it imports. So can you list few items that we import and export? Import me con con se items hote. What do we import? Mainly electronic item. You will see your TV, your refrigerator, washing machine, even your laptops, mobiles. All these are electronic items that India imports. And one more important oil and petroleum from your uh, these Gulf countries, isn't it? and capital goods, fertilizers, all these are the things of uh, import, okay? And what are the items that India export? What do we export mostly? We export, what we export? Vegetables, fruits, spices, handicraft, isn't it? And your iron ore, ready-made garments, and chemicals so there are variety and um, your wheat and rice we are the major ag uh, agricultural country so we export mostly these uh, agricultural product and to whom we export USA UK Germany Europe and you know uh, Hong Kong China we export to all these countries so this is called globalization also another term used in the chapter is globalization Globalization means, what is globalization? Bringing all the different countries in the world closer through trade, through uh, tourism, okay? So bringing everyone, bringing different countries together. So you can say a key point is different countries coming closer to each other of the world. coming closer and this process is called globalization okay now the important thing is we are, the chapter is actually comparing economic development of India and China and USA. In previous chapter we have already seen the economic uh, uh, condition of India and in this chapter we are going to elaborate more about US economy and that of your Chinese economy. Okay, So when we compare first of all USA economy, United States of America okay economy of usa when it comes comparison we can say usa is the top most country in economic development okay in terms of manufacturing or you can say um, there are 30 million small business in USA out of 500 largest companies in the world and 139 are in USA. About 40% of the world's richest people stay in USA. 40% richest people. You should keep these all factors in mind while giving an account of US economy. Okay? Then, uh, agriculture very advanced okay 
very good quality of seed fertilizers they use and in terms of manufacturing USA's uh, output was greater than that of China and only recently in 2010 China is said to have overtaken USA okay and uh, petroleum steel automobile uh, construction machinery agriculture are some of the major manufacturing industries you can say uh, it is the output was greater than US manufacturing second largest after China so we can say Chinese economy is lot developing, isn't it? After China in 2010. And then education and health services are, uh, are of high quality. 85% of children enter public school in USA. 85% children educated. That's a very good percentage. And USA is one of the top exporter of goods and services. You can top exporter. So while comparing, you have to give all these points uh, about USA, ki how why it is called a developed nation. Developed kyo hai? Because of all these things, isn't it? Agriculture achha hai, richest hai, standard of living hai. So, uh, USA is the one of the top most economy. And economy of China. China. When we compare with China, China has recently developed so much. You know, it is the second largest after USA in the world. This is the most important thing. Second largest economy after USA. And China uh, was not very important in terms of economic power, but after its reform movements in 1980, it developed a lot. And uh, China, uh, you must be knowing, they do not have a democracy or rule of people. In China, one party rules. So that is one of the major, uh, you can say it's a, um, a country who has one rule. That's why people have to follow the rules and regulation. But now they are uh, entertaining private sector also. And like India, China has also adopted five-year plan strategy okay and the first plan period of china was 1953 to 57 five year plan policy this may come as exam uh, multiple choice question five year plan policy first plan was 1953 to 1957 okay and then during the first half of 2010 china has 10 percent share in the total world's export see it's a very big exporting country 10 percent export world's export by china so this is an amazing fact. India, China ki population India se bhi zyada hai. Lekin they know how to utilize that population. Aur ye shayad hume seekhna bhi chahiye, isn't it? Ki uh, after so much uh, development, how they are doing so much development with so many people. When we are complaining a population as a problem. No, population is not a big problem. But corruption is a problem. Many rules are problems. But uh, you know implementation of rules should be there like in China and uh, China's standard of living has improved and um, 
you can say 2.5 percent today china's standard of living has improved so much that its poverty ratio fell from 51 percent in 1981 to 2.5 percent in 2005 isn't it it's a big 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 ratio you can mention that only uh, 2.7% poverty in 2010 so don't you think it's an um, it's a big ratio it's a 2.5% uh, in 2005 2.5 percent poverty in 2005 not 10 so you can say ki china has developed a lot and it is a developing country second largest after u.s economy and we have already seen indian economy it is basically your agricultural economy okay so i hope this chapter is clear to all of you uh, thank you so much